Hi, I'm Rob, and in this video I'm going to show you this arcade machine which I designed and built myself. This arcade cabinet here is the first one which I designed and built myself. I do absolutely love it, but if it's got one flaw, it's the fact that when you play Xbox games you needed to change a wheel over. Yep, you can play PS3, PS4, PS5 and PC games, but I didn't like having to change the wheels over, so I decided to make a smaller, more compact machine designed exclusively for use with the Xbox. And here it is, my space saving, transforming racing arcade cabinet, specifically designed for use with the Xbox consoles, and it does have a pretty neat party trick too, which I'll come to in just a second. Now this has some pretty cool features as well. Now the seat or bench is actually completely separated from the main body. This is really handy because what this means is if you're a taller person you can just move the seat further back to gain that leg space or if you're shorter you can just move it forward and still access the pedals really easily. One important thing when designing this machine was the fact that it had to be compact and space saving. And this goes one stage further. When not in use you can just slide this seat forward it goes into the housing there where you'd normally put your feet and now takes up considerably less space. Sound wise there are downward firing front and left speakers and we have a center speaker there built into the main dashboard area and there's also a subwoofer built into the seat and two rear speakers at the back of the machine. For the racing wheel, I decided to use Microsoft's wheel for this. It's old, but still works pretty well. The force feedback isn't that great. It's more shaky vibration than actual force feedback, but it still functions pretty well for the arcade racing games and gives that nice arcade feel. The pedals are fixed onto a plate, so do not move anywhere, even under extreme use. Added some nice little touches like the sticker speedos there and the outrun minimap. The console itself is stored inside the marquee hatch and is handy when you want to access the machine for those disc based games. Most games are on the internal hard drive but it is really handy to have access to the disc drawer at the same time. There's also a controller on the other side when you want to play those regular Xbox games. Just drop the hatch down, it's on a soft close hinge and it just closes nice and slowly. Now I can play so many of my favourite games from here like Outrun 2. Daytona USA Crazy Taxi Sega Rally and many more Now I really like flight stick games too like Afterburner and Space Harrier so I designed this wheel to be detachable you just unplug the lead from there it's held on by industrial grade Velcro so it doesn't go anywhere when you're not using it so it's a careful bit of movement you can get that off. We have a flight stick here, which then we can just place straight down. So with a small but powerful PC built in as well, I can now play those flight stick games the way they were intended. Love Space Harrier, Afterburner 2, Thunderblade and more. So there it is, there's my racing cab that transforms into a flight stick cab. I really love this machine, use it a lot, really like it. If you enjoyed the video be sure to consider hitting that like and subscribe button, it really does help. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you again next time, bye for now.